right. There's no point in drawing us out any longer than necessary. For the past several months, I've heard nothing but complaints from the Raw superstars and fans about the way Eric Bischoff has vacated damn near every title on Raw. So, Eric, I'm giving you a chance to come on out to this very ring right now and explain your actions. to remind you that you stand on dangerous ground here tonight. So what do you have to say for yourself? Well, Mr. McMahon, as everyone knows, I used to be in charge of WCW, the most dominant force in the sports entertainment industry. What was it? 88 weeks in a row that we beat this very show in the ratings? 88 straight weeks. Yeah. And we all know how that turned out. I used to be the undisputed king of sports entertainment. I take exception to that. And now look at me. I became nothing more than a lackey. Under the thumb of WWE Board of Directors and the almighty Vince McMahon. Well, I'm sick of it. I've been sick of it for a long time. And about six months ago, I decided to do something about it. I was approached by someone who promised me enough financial backing to raise a new sports entertainment empire that would rival the mighty WWE. In exchange for his support, all I had to do was handicap Raw in any way I could, while at the same time, lend my genius to this new venture of yours. Genius? So I stripped the Raw superstars of their titles and put them in the most grueling matches conceivable. And all the while, my partner was making deals and targeting the WWE for a hostile takeover. Now you're probably wondering why I've chosen to reveal this master plan tonight. Well, quite frankly, it's so close to fruition that not even the great Vince McMahon can stop us now. I know JBL's on his way here, and I also knew you two had planned some dramatic unveiling for your so-called master plan. Well, JBL's going to get a bit more drama than he bargained for when he arrives here tonight. You see, I've got someone waiting for JBL in the parking lot. The man who won an opportunity to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Raw's number one contender is going to meet JBL in the parking lot? What does that mean, JR? I don't think he's there to roll out the red carpet, King. I thought it might be a good warm-up for Raw's title contender to take on a world champion before WrestleMania. So when JBL shows up here tonight, he's going to find himself in a parking lot brawl. And by my watch, JBL should be arriving right about... No. You, you, you can't be serious. You, you can't do this to me. I'm Eric Bischoff. I, I, I'm the general manager of Raw. I, I, I'm the only man to take on Vince McMahon and, and win. 
Eric, in case you haven't figured it out by now, the only thing you are is your fire. And not a minute too soon. Thank you, Mr. McBee. But that's not all. There's going to be a parking lot brawl between JBL and Raw's number one contender. JBL may be a true titan of business, but he's about to find out what happens when he sticks his 10-gallon head into Raw's business. And there isn't a damn thing Bischoff can do about it anymore.